guys. So today is a big day. I leave and let's see, it's 7.15 right now. I leave Georgia at 10.30 to go to Jacksonville. And then Tuesday morning, like around six, that's when I go to Mebs and then all that stuff and get ready to leave. So this is my video about what I packed with me. Should have made it earlier, but I was just spending time with people, so I decided just to make it the day that I leave. I woke up early just to make this video, so. Okay. This is oh, the bag. I got this bag from Amazon. I will link it in the description. It's just a carry-on bag carry on size so okay um I'll start and then so in like this side this little compartment because it has like the little ones and then a big one and then another little one on the side so I'm gonna start over here so in this little compartment I have a mini bible I have my makeup. It's just um, foundation, blush, concealer, mascara, lip gloss, and eyeliner. I think that's it. And then I have my contacts because I can't see if I don't have them or my glasses. I'm not like wearing my glasses, so I'm going to try to wear my contacts as long as I can until they let me. Well, until I have to wear my glasses. <laughs> and here's my glasses that I might put on today. I don't know. Because I sometimes when I wear my contacts for so long when I put on my glasses, I get headaches. So I might put them on today. I don't know. I think I'm just going to wait because I just hate wearing them. And they just don't. I don't know. Let's see. Um, put them on real quick. So, yeah. They're just... Then I have these glasses straps for when I do wear my glasses, I can put these on. I think I'm just going to take this out of here and then put it in my case with my glasses so I don't have to have all this extra stuff. And then I bought this watch from Walmart. Everything that I got that's like inside the bag, I well, most of the stuff that I got that's inside the bag is from Walmart. So... The glasses strap, I got those on Amazon, but this watch is from Walmart. You can put it in military time and it will show you the day, like what exact day it is and then the date. So you can set an alarm, you can do a stopwatch and something else that I forgot about, but that's really the only things I care about is the stopwatch, honestly, so I can see how long it takes me to run when I'm there. Okay, and this other little compartment on this side. So I have this thing of Q-tips. I have my um, travel size of body wash, conditioner, shampoo, um, deodorant, and then I have I got a travel size bottle, put lotion in it, and then toothpaste and a little loofah. And then uh, still on this side, I put both of these bags in there. I just like took out the air from them and then folded them in half so they both fit in there. And then this is my hair stuff. So <laughs> I have um, bobby pins. I have uh, two combs. I have a Denman brush, a, an actual brush, like a hard bristle brush. Um, I have vitamin E oil. I have like this mix of oils right here that I just like put a bunch of oils in. It has like coconut oil, some hair growth oil and stuff like that. Then I have um, some clips and I put in a travel size bottle, I put um, some like leave-in conditioner in here. And, and then I have like rubber bands and I have a mini brush just in case like I want to do my edges or something like that. I don't know if they let you but I just brought it just in case. And I also will show you guys my hair like at the towards the end like because I did my hair 
like two days ago I just decided to braid it like it's basically like box braids but just with my regular hair so because I was gonna go get them done but then I was like okay that's gonna take a while so I just took about like three hours and just did them just on my regular hair because so if you don't know any hairstyle ideas, you can do box braids just on your hair. It's a good idea. I think it should last me the whole time I'm there. Hopefully it does last me the whole time I'm there and then I can just take them out like the last week. So Okay, so oh. I haven't put this in my bag yet, but it's a um notebook it's probably gonna go on this side the left well my left side um it has puppies on it which is so cute but this book just has addresses in it for um when i want to send people letters i just wrote down their addresses so because my recruiter he did give me the um address but i don't know he gave it to me like when i got my first date because my date this is um my date changed so I was supposed to leave in April, but I um, it got pushed back. So I don't know if like it's the same address or what. So I just wrote down everyone's address so I can just send them a letter. And then I have my little Air Force pen and my Air Force pencil, and then just a regular like pen. I might like bring a few colored pens because I don't know I like colored pens. So. Okay, so in this big compartment, I have a book for the plane or like. Yeah, just the plane and when I'm waiting on the plane so I don't have to be on my phone so much. Um, this book is called Chasing Red. I like started it but never finished it. So hopefully I can finish it by the time I get there because I do read really fast. So hopefully I can finish it. Um, and this bag, I have my skincare stuff mostly. So I have a mirror. I have um, tweezers for my eyebrows and also Nair for my eyebrows. And then I have toner, face wash, what else is in here? Sunscreen for my face and sunscreen for my body. Um, it's not good to use like regular sunscreen on your face because it can clog your pores. So you wanna, if you do wanna have sunscreen, bring one for your face and your body. And then I have cotton pads. Um, I have this eye roller for dark circles because so I know we're going to be waking up early. And then I have coconut oil and then a moisturizer by Neutrogena. It's an oil-free acne moisturizer. And I, then I have bio oil also for like scars because I've been like getting a few like scars and they need to go away like quick, hopefully. I don't know how much time they give you to do skincare, but I'm going to try my best because I'm trying to have the same skin before and after I come back, so. Um, I have my scarf also. I need to put my other one here. Hopefully I remember, but this is one scarf and then I have a bonnet. This is just a tie on one. Okay, and then I have two pairs of jeans in here. The other one is on my bed because I'm going to wear those. Um, today I have a pair of just like shorts athletic shorts to sleep in and some regular shorts um, I have okay so at Walmart they have like a 10 pack of bikini panties so I had got those it comes with this color like a purplish a tan ish and then a white and a black i was really trying to avoid white because white is like especially if i like get my period because i just don't like and i just don't like white so and then i have this big bag of overnight pads and then tampons so i usually just use tampons but i decided to bring pads as well because Tampons leak sometimes at night, and I'm not really trying to be leaking because it's not the time. Actually, not right now. So, put that back in there. And then I have my Air Force shirt. So, like, when I pack this stuff, when I packed my shirt, I tried to pack my shirts like military style, like holding the military style. So, hopefully, I did it right because I watched a video. So, 
I bought like, well this is my Air Force short and then, that's a short, Air Force shirt. And I brought that and then I'm wearing one of the shirts that I bought from Walmart. These were like $4. So I bought, um, how many did I buy? I bought three of them and then I already had like a regular black shirt so I put that in there too. So I have three shirts in here and I have one on. And then I brought a nude bra and then I also already have one on so I, I do I did bring like two regular bras um, I saw a video saying to bring like a nude slash white bra for like when you wear your blues because if you wear like a black one it might show a little bit so I brought I bought a nude one and then I'm wearing a black one and then I bought these compression shorts off of Amazon um, they're just, it was a, came in a three pack. I don't remember how much they were, but they're really comfortable. I wore them like two weeks ago to go to the gym. They're comfortable and they come with pockets. So it'll be um, good for when I get out of basic too. They're just black um, compression, sh compression shorts. I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. It's early. I'm sorry. I didn't burp, it was just like a... I don't even know what that was. I don't know if it was a hiccup or what, but it wasn't burnt. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and then I have a few pairs of socks. I can't find the other one. I don't want to take everything out of here, but um, I bought like just a whole pack of socks, and I put a few in here, and then I put a few in my box I have that I will also show you guys. I got At first, I got one box just to put in. I thought I would be able to fit clothes and my computer and stuff like that in there, but... I just can't so I thought it would be best to just get two boxes have leave one here for my mom to ship to me and then ship one to my dad because he is in Texas so once I get out he can bring me like my computer and um, whatever else I put in the box like my purse and th things I like need like immediately I guess so let's see besides the compression shorts I got also got a six pack of um, sports bras so they're just regular black sports bras. They just look like this. Um, I don't remember how much these were. I know like together when I bought both of them, it was like fifty dollars. I wouldn't say like each of them were like around twenty, twenty-five, something like that. Um, so I will actually like link the compression shorts and the sports bras in the description box. And um I don't think you guys care about the glasses straps, so I won't need those, but I'll link the sports bras and the compression shorts. The compression shorts came in a three pack and the sports bras came in a six pack. So it was just six black um, sports bras. I haven't worn them, so ho hopefully they're comfortable. I might try and um, try one on tonight when I get back to the hotel because I probably should have already tried them on and make sure they were comfortable, but if they're not, then oh well, I'll live. So. My bag, it's not really um, heavy because I know people are saying try and pack light. I tried to pack as light as I could, but like I wanted to bring, I wanted to be like prepared, you know, and like bring stuff that like I know I would need so I wouldn't have to buy it because um, I probably won't have to do my hair that much, probably not till the last week, but I still brought stuff just in case I decide to take my hair out and or I have to take my hair out or something like that. So. I just wanted to be prepared because I don't, I didn't really see the point in like buying extra stuff when I already have it. So I just packed like travel size of things. That's why I got the containers and things like that. Um, I don't think it will last me the whole time I'm there. I will, but at least it will last me a little bit. So um, that's really all I have in the bag. Um, I'm trying to think about, oh, um, I'm also going to pack this, um, lip balm and my chapstick, my EOS chapstick. I don't, I'll probably just put it in here as well as this skincare bag. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing else that I forgot to pack. Um, I did make a packing, I can make a, put my packing list in the description box. I did make one, like two months ago before like I was when I was supposed to leave so um now I'm gonna talk about my hair and my job <clears throat> so let me I'm 
just going to show you guys what I did to my hair because I know I already told you I just put it in box braids. So uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but my hair was like uh, black to uh, um, blonde, but then I dyed like the black part brown. And um, I heard my friend Kimani that I went to high school with, she told me that um, they're going to probably, if I went to BMT with my hair blonde at the end, they would probably try um not try but they would make me dye it so i decided to just try and dye it before i go i tried to get it the same a solid like all a solid color but it just didn't really work out so i'm just hoping they don't say anything about it because you can't really like tell well you can but like not when it's like pulled back because if they do then i'm just gonna dye all black because the the blonde part for some reason just wasn't taking the hair dye which was really annoying because i dyed it two times so it was a struggle but um yeah i just did like mini box braids on my hair um i probably will make a video about it once i get out of tech school because i'm gonna do the same thing once i um so i'm gonna take my hair out the week the last week of bmt and i also want to say um my BMT got shortened, like it's supposed to be eight and a half weeks, but it's seven weeks now. So I'm gonna graduate on the 17th. So I leave the 26th, with it, which is tomorrow, and then I graduate the 17th. So um, it got shortened because of the corona. And yeah, I don't really know what they're gonna take out or if they're just gonna like try and speed everything up, I guess, or something like that, I don't know. But yeah, that's enough about my hair. Um, I think it's a good hairstyle. So if you're going to BMT and you have um, natural hair and you don't want to like get actual box braids, I would just try and box like um, do braids on your real hair because it's less for me. I think it's um, better for me because like it won't be just so much hair because like I don't want my head to feel like heavy so or anything like that and just like have a lot of braids or anything like that so i just did it on my real hair because like adding hair is going to add length and i didn't really want to add any length because my hair is a decent like length it's like right here so that's like enough to pull it back if your hair is shorter you can still do box braids and have them short all you all you would have to do is cut like the hair in half and then add it like half not halfway but like after like you braid it for like an inch or two just add it and so it won't be too long or you can have them long it's just your preference i guess but personally i just didn't want long braids for bmt so i just did them on my real hair i'm sorry if i sound like really weird i have allergies just a little bit i don't know why but i have a little bit of allergies hopefully they go away because <laughs> it's really annoying but um Oh, my job. Okay, so I'm going to talk about my job. My job is aerospace medical, and that is the job I wanted. I either wanted that job or, the, well, I <laughs> when I made my list, I wanted the job I have now or um, what's the other job? Photojournalism. So I actually forgot to put photojournalism on my list, so I guess that was fine or whatever. But I got the job I wanted, so I got aerospace medical, and basically what my job is, is just to assist doctors. That's what it says in the thing, and when I watch videos about it, that's what they basically said. If you take vitals and stuff like that, it just depends like what department you work at for like what you actually do, but it's just assisting doctors, so. Um, with my job, my tech school is in Houston. Um, at least the first part of it for the second part of my tech school I can be like in like a there's like a few places I could be at I'm not sure what exact place I'm gonna be at yet but I know for like a month I think or so I don't know how long I don't really know how it works I just know that like they said for one part of the tech school you'll be in Houston and the second part of tech school you'll be in you can either be at Houston still or you can be in another state where they have like the other little facilities. So I'm not sure where that will be at yet. But um excited to see Houston. 
because I've wanted to always see it and see Texas honestly because I've heard a lot about it. It seems like really nice there even though it's hot. And hopefully I don't burn up a bean tea because I don't like heat. I mean, I like it, but at the same time, when it gets too hot, I'm just like over it. So, yeah, I don't really think I have anything else to talk about. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. But um, I'm going to be gone for like, like I said, seven weeks because I leave. Well, I leave today, but I leave like to go to BMT tomorrow. So, um, I will be back, and once I get back, I'll make a video about how BMT was, and then during tech school, I'll try and make some videos about how tech school is and stuff like that. And then eventually, I'll probably make a video about my whole experience, and like, I don't think at that point I can say like how I like the Air Force so far, because I haven't really worked yet. But eventually, I will make a video about how I like the Air Force, and if it is what like I expected it to be, you know? That's really all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.